Okay, I'm sorry na cut yung video natin because uh, someone called me. Okay. <laughs> Let's continue with uh, problem number one. So I might read it again. Okay, so 1,000 tour mm diameter concrete pipe, 1,800 meters long carries 1.35 cubic meters per second from reservoir A whose water surface is at elevation 50 meters and discharges into two concrete pipes each 1,250 meters long and 750 mm in diameter. One of the 70, 750 mm diameter pipe discharges into reservoir B in which the water surface is at elevation 44 meters determine the elevation of the water surface of reservoir C into which the other 750 mm diameter pipe is flowing assume the friction factor to be 0 0.02 for all the pipes okay so we're going to use Darcy waste back for the Darcy waste back here an example ko so pa uh, activity ko na lang ibang mga formula <laughs> okay so we're going to you know, so the problem says that uh, the the source of the two res two lower reservoirs B and C is reservoir A, obviously, and uh, Q one the the pipe connected to reservoir A has a discharge of one point thirty five cubic meters per second. Okay, so this would be our illustration. Um. Oh no, okay. Sorry, may mga interruptions. So, uh, we do not know whether reservoir C is uh, of lower elevation than reservoir B. Don't know yet. Basta ang alam lang natin is that reservoir A obviously has the highest elevation. Ano? Kasi nga, it supplies B and C according to the problem. Hindi naman pwede na nasa lowest elevation reservoir A and then supplies B and C unless merong pump. So, wala namang pump na nilagay. So, which means A has the highest elevation among the two reservoirs. And, uh, reservoir B has an elevation uh, 44 meters. Yeah, reservoir C natin. And the elevation of reservoir C is unknown. We do not know if it's higher or lower than reservoir B. So, okay, what we are sure is that the highest in terms of elevation is reservoir A. Okay, so that's it. Uh, first is that we need to know muna, although obvious naman dun sa problem, obvious na nakalagay dun sa problem natin, na A supplies B and C. Okay, let's continue <laughs> interruption ulit. Okay, so na tayo kanina. Uh, okay. So the direction of flow would be dependent on the piezometric reading at the junction. You know? And the junction. Okay. So although obvious naman na sa problem that reservoir A supplies reservoir B and C, but for the sake of discussion. So we're going to establish a an imaginary... Um, piezometric reading or piezometer I should say attach at the junction ito drawing tayo hindi siya straight oh my goodness I should have brought my ruler <laughs> so may piezometer tayo dyan crazy okay alright so if the piezometric reading nandito siya so obviously sa problem sabi niya A supplies B and C so yung piezometric reading natin dito ay mas syempre mas mataas hindi na lang mas mataas compared sa reservoir elevation ng reservoir B and if meron difference in elevation between the piezometric reading the elevation the piezometric reading and the elevation of reservoir A so this is HF1, that's the head loss in pipe 1 and this is the head loss in pipe 
two and this will be the head loss in uh, pipe three how do we know na yun yung head loss <laughs> um, nag, nag flow yung tubig dito ano? na kung wala sa ng head loss the piezometric reading should be of the same elevation dun sa may reservoir A ano? parehas dapat yung elevation parehas dapat yung elevation ng reservoir A and then yung piezometric reading kung walang head loss but due to loss of energy loss due to friction loss due to friction okay ayan <laughs> so kung walang head kung wala sa ng frictional loss meron tayo wala sa wala walang difference in elevation because of a uh, losses of energy due, due to friction so, nag travel yung tubig punta dito nagkaroon ng loss of uh, energy so the pressure is no longer enough para magka-level ito no? so that's that's the loss of energy so yun yung head loss that's, of course may mga minor losses but I have explained before that we're going to neglect minor losses if we want to include minor losses then uh, we can include it separate we can compute it separately and then include it in the analysis uh, later on and of course ganun din same principle applies ito yung head loss from nung nag travel yung water ito doon pabunta sa B then may corresponding head loss pa rin yan okay, yung nag travel yung water pabunta sa reservoir C may corresponding head loss that is uh, HF3 that is denoted by the difference in elevation between the piezometric reading and the elevations between the reservoirs Okay, we will try to confirm later on na na yung condition that A supplies B and C. So, I will flip this. Oh no, malakas ang hangin. Okay, so this would be our illustration. Okay. So, if indeed, um, the piezometric reading is of higher elevation than reservoir B or the middle reservoir, then this would be the illustration you know. then uh, q2 now is is going towards reservoir b q3 obviously going towards reservoir c and uh, uh, q1 of course going uh, downwards so we know that q1 space is equal to uh, 1.35 cubic meters per second as per uh, yung sa problem nilagay given ito that's 1.35 cubic meters per second so we will know no, yung elevation ng uh, junction yung piezometric reading by simply computing for the head loss in pipe 1 since there is equivalent to the head loss in pipe 1 ito naman yung head loss sa pipe 2 head loss sa pipe 3 so for us to solve for the head loss in uh, dito. head loss I head loss sorry. elevation of reservoir C para malaman natin yung elevation ng reservoir C we simply need to compute for the elevation of the junction and the head loss in pipe 3 so that the elevation of reservoir C is, sim C is simply the difference between the elevation of the junction and the, ele and the head loss in pipe 3 so that will be our working equation to solve for the elevation of reservoir C. So the elevation of reservoir C, let's say LC, is equal to the elevation of the junction minus the head loss in pipe 3. So uh, can we solve for the elevation of the junction? Of course we can solve for the elevation of the junction. And later on to solve for the for the uh, head loss in pipe 3, we need the discharge in pipe 3. Para ma solve natin yung head loss. And after that, we can also solve for the elevation of reservoir C. So, how can we solve for the elevation of the junction? So, the elevation of the junction is equal to the elevation of reservoir A minus the head loss in pipe 1. So, I've explained this a while ago. No? Yung, yung concept behind this head loss thing. 
So we need to solve for the head loss in pipe 1. Can we solve for the head loss in pipe 1? We can solve for the head loss of pipe 1 since given naman yung, yung discharge of pipe 1 and pipe properties of pipe 1. Ano? So we have HF1 is equivalent to uh, 0.0826F is 0 0.02 times 1,800 yung length ng pipe 1 times 1.35 yung discharge squared over D raised to 5. The diameter of pipe 1 is 1,200 mm or just 1.2 meters raised to 5. So HF1 is equal to 2.18 meters. Yan yung head loss ng pipe 1, which means that the elevation of the piezometric reading at the junction is equal to the elevation of reservoir A, which is 50 meters, minus the elevate the piezometric reading natin, or piezometric reading tuli, yung head loss natin na 2.18 meters, so that the elevation of the piezometric reading at the junction is equal to um, 47.82 meters. So, ito yung uh, elevation and junction, which is obviously higher than uh, the elevation of reservoir B. No, So, tama yung <coughs> initial assumption natin na yung Piezometric reading is higher than the elevation of reservoir B. So, which means that uh, from there, which means that our, our, our equation for discharge, and there are two possible equations of discharge. Yeah? So, if A supplies reservoir B and C, that means that Q1 is equal to Q2 plus Q3. So, kapag yung reservoir A, sinasupplyan niya yung reservoir B and reservoir C, then the law, the, the equation of flow now is this. No, Q1 is equal to Q2 plus Q3. Since yung Q1 is equal to Q2. Okay. So, or, if reservoir A and B supplies reservoir C, then Q3 is equal to Q1 plus Q2. This is the second condition. No. But obviously, as I said in the problem, this would be our working equation ano, for uh, discharge. So, since uh, mas mataas yung elevation ng junction compared to sa middle reservoir natin, assume, of course, na, na reservoir B, we will correct it later kapag C ay mas mataas pala compared sa B, we will try to correct it. Pero kung tama naman yung assumption natin, then no need to correct. So, ito yung ating uh, equation for uh, continuous flow or, or flow equation natin. Okay? So, yun yung working equation natin. So, if that is the case, let's proceed now. So, next is to solve for. So, ang goal natin para mas hold natin yung elevation sa... Ah, sorry. Elevation ng reservoir ito pala yun. Sorry. Ay malaman natin yung elevation ng junction which is already done. And makuha natin yung uh, head loss of pipe 3. So para natin makuha yung head loss sa pipe 3, kailangan natin masolve yung discharge sa pipe 3. So para natin masolve yung discharge sa pipe 3, masolve natin yung discharge sa pipe 3 if we know the discharge in pipe 2. So, alam natin yung discharge sa pipe 1. That's 1.35 cubic meters per second. If we can only know the discharge in pipe 2, then we can solve for the discharge in pipe 3. Can, the question is, can we solve for the discharge in pipe 2 given the initial um, uh, yung mga given natin sa so problem and then yung mga initial na solve natin na values. So, pwede kaya ba? Pwede kaya malaman yung uh, discharge sa pipe 2. So, we can solve for the discharge in pipe 2 if we know the head loss in pipe 2. No. So, di ba yung equation ng, dis ng head loss natin, it's always in terms of discharge. It's in terms of discharge. Also, although we can so solve it in terms of the velocity, but we have derived an equation that would be, that would relate now to the head loss and the discharge. Okay. 
Uh, so it's in terms of the the discharge. So if we can solve for the head loss in pipe two, we can know we can solve for the discharge in pipe two. The question again is, can we solve for the head loss in pipe two? So you have to to look into the figure again. So alam na natin yung elevation ng junction. Alam natin yung elevation ng reservoir B. Ang head loss ng pipe two ay yung difference in elevation between the junction and reservoir B. So uh, very simple. We can solve for the elevation or the head loss in pipe 2 by inspection dun sa figure natin. So, how do we solve for the, paano, the equation natin for HF2? HF2 now is equal to yung elevation ng junction minus the elevation of reservoir B. So, HF2 then is equal to anong elevation ng junction kanina? That is 47.82 meters minus the elevation of reservoir B that is 44 meters. So we have HF2 is equal to 3.82 meters. Now we can solve, we can use this value to solve for the head loss in pipe 2. Let's turn the page okay so then so we know that HF2 is equal to 3.82 meters that should be equal to 0 0.0826 F is 0 0.02 times 1,350 meters, I'm sorry, times Q2 squared all over D raised to 5. Diameter of pipe 2 is 0 0.75 raised to 5. So we have one unknown in the equation which is Q2. So Q2 is 0 0.64 cubic meters per second. So that so that Q3, so based from our equation kanina, that Q1 is equal to Q2 plus Q3, then Q3 is equal to Q1 minus uh, Q2, okay? So Q3 then is equal to 1.35 cubic meters per second minus... 0 0.64 cubic meters per second. So Q3 is 0 0.71 cubic meters per second. So that is our discharge for pipe 3. And then we can now solve for the head loss in pipe 3. It's equivalent to 0 0.0826 F is 0 0.02. Uh, the length of pipe 3 is 1350 meters times Q3. Sorry, 0 0.70 raised to uh, 2 divided by D, 0.75 raised to 5. So HF3 is equal to 4.74 meters. Okay, HF3 is equal to 4.74 meters. Remember what we need to solve para masolve. Well, we need to know para masolve natin yung elevation ng, ng reservoir C is yung elevation ng junction and yung HF3. So, meron na kompleto na yung kailangan natin. So, elevation ng uh, reservoir C is equal to the elevation of the junction sorry, minus HF3. Uh, so, we have elevation ng junction and ng C is equal to 47.82 meters minus 4.74 meters so that the elevation of reservoir C is equal to 43.08 meters so that would be the answer for problem number one under reservoir problems okay that's how we solve it I hope na sundan natin yung procedure no? or 
yung mga different concepts so, paano gamitin yung mga concepts na uh, na introduced before okay so we'll have another problem on a separate video na lang